Hey guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out, man. I hope everybody had a great holiday, Christmas, uh, Kwanzaa, uh, Rosh Hashanah, all the whatever else you guys got out there. But hey, listen. And another thing, thank you very much for the support this morning. Uh, a lot of guys they jumped on that uh, that guy Doria Stead Steadman, who's uh, stealing my videos. It's not even trying to alter him. He's just taking the YouTube page with that video on it and posting it on. I don't know how he's doing it, but anyway. Uh, I have in the past reported him and they did take that video down. Unfortunately, what I have to do, unless there's something else going on, is I have to do it for every single video, which means I'm going to be very busy. Uh, for the most part, he's only getting like 10 or 15, 20 views off of it. But if you see it, just make a post on there, man. Say, hey, dude, you stole the video. You're an asshole. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the purpose of this video. This is about the CCW of the month. Now, what I'm planning on doing, this is kind of a new series, and what I want to do for the year upcoming is I want to take a different handgun every month and wear it for 30 days as my carry concealed gun. And what I want to do then is come back and do an overall review, show you guys what I thought of it, how it carried, what was going on with it. And what I really want to do, and we're going to keep going on like this, is I want to do it with a firearm that you normally wouldn't see as your typical carry concealed. I mean, your P320 compacts, that's a, that's a carry concealed gun. The XDM 3.8 compact, that's a carry concealed gun. But for this month, this was pretty cool. Now I carried this thing with me the entire time. This is this guy right here. This is the CZ SP01 uh, Tactical. And a lot of people, <laughs> they say, this is a great firearm, but not necessarily for a good carry concealed gun. And I'm gonna tell you the reasons why people say that. Now, first of all, let's talk about a couple things. The gun's very long. It's down here 11 inches from front to back. It's very tall. You got a lot of ammo in here. So in that case, it makes for an excellent firearm, but not so much for concealed carry. I carried it in holster right here. I, I really like this thing and it just dropped in there just like that now let's talk about a couple things real quickly and I'm going to show you where this thing was not exactly what you want in a carry concealed here we go all right so I'm bending down real low here because what I want to show you is this if you can see this right here the length of this gun is pretty not bad now this is my typical wear this is what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis don't ask me why but I do pair of 511s these black shirts and usually a black t-shirt underneath but from the side you can see i'm gonna stand up a little higher it's still concealed it doesn't print it's not bad in that case now i haven't had any issues with it wearing it for three or four days no one ever even knew i had it and that's the point of a carry concealed gun and that was where i didn't have any issues where i had the issues was one i was always concerned about the thread protector falling out and two when driving in the car it had a tendency to create an uncomfortable situation e uh, one by poking into the seat of the car i didn't have any issues with the firearm falling out of the holster because this is not a retention holster because of the weight the thing loaded weighs over three and a half pounds and that got some to be where it it took some getting used to now it was interesting because I'm going to pick out my next gun for the CCW of the month for the month of January and I want to do something that is not your usual or typical CCW gun and I'm thinking I'm going to carry as my concealed gun the FNX 45. Now we can all agree that's a big mamma jamma of a gun and usually is not your carry concealed but I'm going to do it for a full month an FNX 45. All right let's talk about a couple things. This thing, awesome little firearm. The way I'm carrying it right now, easily concealed. Carrying a spare mag back here, no big deal. All right, guys, other than the weight, the length, and how it penetrated or tried to push down into the car seat, that was my only issues with this gun. Three and a half pounds, a lot of weight to carry around, but I'm a big guy. I was able to get used to it quite effectively. And I'm interested in seeing how we transfer over to the FNX, how that transpires, because I am going to use the better holster, not the leather holster. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. The CCW of the month. I think it's a pretty cool idea. We're just going to do it once a month, usually around the first of the month or the end of the month. 
depending on how much I want to get this gun off of me. And I got to be quite honest, but I want to get this guy out of here. Leave any comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on any potential firearms you'd like to see uh, tested out on a monthly basis. And uh, again, thank you very much for your support. If you see the videos on this guy, Doria Stedman's, just let him know it is a stolen video and you don't appreciate it or I don't appreciate it. And leave your comments down below. If you like the video, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom's not free. And support the red, white, and blue. It's Good Boy 32, out.